make these friendship bracelet looms and they're really easy to make with just a few supplies. So you'll need cardboard. So I just have a old sparkling water box. You'll need a cup just to trace the circle, a pencil, scissors, embroidery floss, or you can use the DMC pearl cotton and I'm using a number eight. This is just a little bit less tangly. It's up to you. So I had a bunch of this on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use today. So I have all my colors. I have my cardboard, a pencil to trace. So I'm just going to trace a circle. And then I'm gonna cut that out. And I'm just going to make a circle right in the middle. Doesn't have to be exact. And I'm, I'm gonna cut just a slit, I don't know, half an inch or so, on four sides. And then I'm going to do one right in the middle of all of them. So there should be eight total. See that? And then the last thing you're gonna to need to do and be very careful with this, take the point of your scissors and make a hole in the middle of your loom. So be very careful not to poke yourself. And I'm just gonna make a little circle. You see that? Yep. And then there's our loom. So now the next step is to get your floss ready and I like to start from my fingertips and go all the way up to my shoulder. And then I'm gonna cut that for the first color. So now I have this green ready to go. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take all of my other colors and I'm just going to line up the tops. I'm just gonna do that and I'm I'm gonna line all seven of them together. Okay, so now I have all seven strands at the top and I'm just gonna pull them until they are even with that initial green one that I cut. So right about, right about there. And then I can just cut them all at the same time. And I can move those out of the way. So now I have all seven colors and they're pretty even on both sides. Now take one end and you're gonna double knot it and you wanna leave a little bit of room at, for the end to tie it. So make double knot. See that? And now I'm gonna take it to my loom and I'm gonna put that knot to the side that, I guess, the, I mean, it doesn't matter, but to me, this is the back side. So I'm gonna thread that through. There it goes, okay. So now I'm gonna pull my knot through and just try not to tug it too much so the knot comes through whenever you're, you're weaving it. So then you have your tail, your knot, and then here's where we start our bracelet. So you're gonna separate the strands and all you're gonna do is put one strand in each of these slits that we cut. And it doesn't matter which ones, and you're gonna be left with one empty slit. Keep them separated. So now you see we have this empty one down at the bottom. All the other ones are filled with a color. Now make sure whenever you are weaving your bracelet that you continually just try to keep these strands at the bottom 
untangled. So we're going to start with this empty slit facing you and you can count one, two, three and move it or you can count one, two, three and move it. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to count one, two, three and this blue strand, I'm going to move it to the empty strand here at the bottom. Then I'm going to rotate where I have this empty slot. One, two, three, take this white one, move it to the empty slot. Rotate, so you always want this slit in front of you. One, two, three, move it to the bottom. And you're just gonna continue that pattern, rotate it, one, two, three, until you have a bracelet the length that you want. One, two, three, move it, rotate. So now your bracelet's going to start coming here, coming out the bottom, and it's gonna start growing through the bottom. So keep on going, move it to the bottom. Rotate, one, two, three, move it to the bottom. One, two, three, and so on. And let me show you what to do when you're finished. Here's a finished bracelet. So we have both ends tied off and I just evened up the edges. So this is a, this is one that's all done. And then let me show you what it looks like as you are weaving through each of the little slots. So if you see, it starts to come out the bottom of your loom, and you're just gonna keep on weaving through each of these until it gets to the length that you want it. Once you are happy with the length, so you can measure it, once you're happy, go ahead and undo all of the colors I'm just holding in the middle so it doesn't slip out. And then I'm gonna pull my bracelet through, pinching the end so it doesn't unravel. And now just tie a knot as close as you can to the end of your bracelet. I'm just gonna pull this tail. There. And then this end. So if this end, I had already made a double knot so that the knot wouldn't slip through. So I'm just gonna undo that double knot so it looks a little tidier. So now I have an, a knot on, the, on both ends. I'm just gonna trim it evenly. And you can leave as long of a tail as you like. I like about that long. And you're all done, ready to wear. So there's cute little friendship bracelets. Uh -huh.